Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Adrian, also known as Adriorama. Today we're doing a video all about small fashion brands that I think you should follow. I think you should know about, I think you should get into because I don't know about you guys but I'm just like sick of Zara and H&M and all the big fast fashion companies that like literally are giving us nothing. I don't know, for me like finding a really cool small business and supporting them feels so good. Like it just feels good. Small brands inspire me so fucking much. I've started to create my own brand and it's a lot of fucking work and it's stressful and it's scary and you want to make the right decision. So kudos to all these brands for like literally just going for it. You guys inspire me so much. Package. Anyways, I got my coffee, I got my list, we're gonna get into it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm really trying to take my YouTube channel seriously in 2024. I've said it so many times, I'm like, okay, this, this is the year I'm doing YouTube. But I genuinely mean it, I'm gonna really try to post a video once a week. So let me know how Sundays are for you guys. Let's get into it. Cool small brands you should know about. Okay, the first one I have is All In Studio. <laughs> Yo, this brand makes like my dream shoes please look please look at these shoes i want these shoes so bad they're always sold out or else i would have bought them ages ago they also make really cool chunky necklaces and bracelets okay the next brand on my list is brody tm i love everything about like i see her vision so like the wavelengths are going through the phone like i see her vision and i get it and i love it it's just cool, man. Like, she just does... Oh, wait, I have shorts. Let me show you the shorts. All right, so these are my Brody TM shorts. They're just, like, the little leopard print hot shorts that lace up. My ass cheeks do come out in these, which that's the one thing I forgot to tell her because she custom made these for me um, that I didn't want my ass out. But you know what? Who doesn't like a little cheek on a Sunday? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, she makes, like, plaid hot shorts with, like, patches, and, like, she loves cheetah and tiger print, which, like, I'm obsessed with. She literally makes these clothes out of her home. Shout out, Brody. Love ya. Okay, the next brand we have is Monique Fay. I think these pieces are so fucking cool. It's, like, hula hoop skirt, black and white latex. Like, this brand does a lot of, like, polka dots, which I'm obsessed with. Like, this is so cool. The pants, the even the shoes, I think, are latex. Yeah, I'm just obsessed. Kind of unwearable for like a day-to-day -day moment, but like really cool for like fashion week or something. Okay, the next brand is Katya Zelensova. This is a really cool London-based knitwear couture designer brand. And yeah, I just think the pieces are so cool. I love this. This is so like 90s with handkerchiefs falling off the skirt. I love this like puff sleeve leotard looking thing with the crochet around the waist, so cool. The gloves with the cutouts where the ring should be, the underwear, like everything is just so cool to me. I'm obsessed. Okay, the next brand, Clark Fart. Love this bitch. Painting, sewing, DIYing stuff in her apartment and I just love it. She made these like really cool off the shoulder jersey tops which like I like love. Oh wait, I have one. <laughs> I just like love pieces like this sleeves are a little uneven but it's just like it has so much character and i love her like the little truck logo i think it's so cute and also this like little truck logo tank top that she spray painted i just love it i think it's hilarious and i think it's so cute and unique and like camp and she actually just came out with this like three layered skirt that can be worn like as a mini midi or maxi i think that is so innovative and so cool and unique i really want this skirt so maybe i'll buy it in the springtime or something but yeah clark fart like she's she's so cool and she does things in like limited drops so yeah you should definitely check her out okay moving on uh next we have lucila softy i think that's how you say it this is just like the coolest it girl brand you've got like the micro shorts with the ruffles on the butt you've got like the undies with the prints pretty sure Devin wore this like sailor top with shorts combo polka dots the gold lettering like it's just all very very cute it is pretty expensive but like oh it's so good dude this coffee is so bad like how I just simply don't understand how to make an iced vanilla latte it's just espresso and oat milk and vanilla simple syrup right why does mine taste like shit i've played around with the proportions is it is it the, i don't know what it is maybe i just need like fresh beans 
shit is foul. <laughs> Okay, next we have my friend's brand, Bootsy NYC. My friend Mishka started this brand. She's actually the nicest human I've ever met. She makes me feel so good every time I walk into their studio, their showroom. So like anything she does, I'm a fan of because she's just so kind and I really love nice people because it's really fucking rare in New York City to find nice, genuine people uh, sometimes in this industry. It's just like very like soft and dainty and elegant and just graceful woman, which like is not me at all. But <laughs> when I wear Bootsy, I feel like this. I have their bikinis, I have dresses of theirs. I literally like sign up and you can go shop in person and have like your own personal like shopping session in their showroom. It's such a cool concept and yeah, we love Bootsy. All right, the first brand I have is Sour Tie. This is a made-to-order UK-based brand. Very punk-inspired, lots of spikes and lace and just really cool stuff. This pink lace set I had, I guess, like two years ago, and she also makes these spiked skirts that I have worn and the spiked like belt top. I also wore these pink satin shorts to Fashion Week. Um, actually, I was wearing this shirt. Oh my god, I love this, the plaid capris with the cropped black and white striped top. She just has really cool stuff and yeah, I'm excited to see where she goes in the future. Okay, the next brand on my list is called Moral London. Bro, she makes the coolest fucking corsets. Like, I remember discovering her quite a few years ago and I reached out to her and she sent me a corset for free. She let me customize it down to the very last detail. And that's like her whole premise is like you can literally customize your corset, you can make it cropped, you can make it full length, change the straps, you can do bows on the straps, ruched like bra cup, you can do beads, any like color pattern. I just realized I should be showing you guys the pieces that I have. Okay, this is the Moral London corset that I have. I wanted it to be cropped with this sort of like scalloped edging. This, oh god, I love this corset so much. It's so cute. Like, you guys know I've worn this like so many times. Is this not like an Ageroma closet staple? Oh my god, like I... Guys, I love this shirt. I'm actually gonna order another one because I just like love this one too much. Like I wanna get a full length one. Also her size range, like you sent her your measurements. I'm getting really geeked out over clothes. This is very normal for me. <laughs> okay, next we have Vaquera. If you guys remember my fashion week fucking cheetah scrunchie. Do you guys remember when I wore that cheetah scrunchie? It was like giant. Uh, we'll insert the one photo that I got in this. Girl, why am I standing in front of a bus? Uh, sometimes I like have a vision in the moment. I'm like, yes, this bus, this giant cheetah scrunchie right now. And then I look back at it and I'm like, Bessie, what were we thinking? What were we thinking? But you know what? It's fine. It's cute. It's funny. It's funny to look back on. They also make the really cool like violin bags. They make this like leather sailor hat that I want. I got this last year at Dover Street Market. Um, it's this like little cropped sweatshirt with a bunch of like really weird patches on it and like a number on the back I don't know. I like it And I really like Vaquera. Okay, next brand you guys know I'm obsessed with is Issa Boulder I I'm an Issa, I'm an Issa Boulder girly and I got invited to their show in Paris Fashion Week last year I mean this past year and I literally paid $700, extended my hotel and my flight so that I could make it to the show. Um, and it was worth every penny. Like, But yeah, these outfits were Issa Boulder. So good. <laughs> Anyways, Issa Boulder is a Bali-based brand. Handmade, really cool fabrics, stretchy. I have these really sick Issa Boulder sweater boots. I love these shoes. They're really cool. They're really expensive. Okay, the next one I have is Take Care. Tank Air is very expensive, but very, very well made and very cool. They have a lot of like elevated basics. I love this picture of my friend Alina. She's wearing a Tank Air tank top and skirt. She looks so good. Like the matching cookie, like incredible. All the girlies have this fucking green long sleeve and blue skirt I wore it in Rome. So soft. It's like a cashmere knit. Okay, next I want to talk about Gyuri Kim. Oh my god, they make clothes too, but I just want to talk about the shoes. Like, look at these shoes, they're so cool. I'm really into a square toe lately, and I love how they lace up. I would love to get my hands on a pair of shoes like this. 
Okay, moving on, we have by Bambi. This is an Australian brand. Andy, the girl who owns this brand, invited me to her show in New York. So I got to watch her very first New York Fashion Week debut, which was cool. She makes a lot of really cool pieces. I love this dress with the ruffle bra and the skirt that like dips. And she makes plus sizes too, which we love that. Okay, next up is this brand, Nananini. Oh my god, it's so cool. Like, completely crazy. Not really practical for everyday use, but like, they play around a lot with like, inflatable clothing, which I think is so genius. Like, I don't know, it's so cool. I love the spikes, I love the lace. Like, it's just very cute and camp and corny and funny. And the fur, I love. I just like, I want all of this. Okay, next up is Laura Androshko. I think I'm saying that right. And I just love her stuff. Like, I love this jacket with the pointed shoulders. I love this sort of like mushroom planet orb skirt. Again, very like military or marching band style with like the buttons down the front and this very like exaggerated pointed shoulders. And I'm obsessed. Okay, next we have Brielle. This is like a little sexy brand. They have lots of like little going out items. Oh, I'm so tired of editing. I've been editing this video for 10 hours straight. Um, I love this leotard with the whole front cut out and the stripes. I love this. Like a little fur cape and a little side tie skirt. I just think this is really cunty and like I want to wear this. Also this look is major. Like I don't know where we're wearing this but I want to wear this. Last but not least we have Fidon Novertsova. This is like my newest obsession. I actually met Fidon accidentally during New York or during Paris Fashion Week. I was actually with my friend Alina, the one that I was talking about earlier. We were at the Jaded London showroom just like picking out clothes from the Jaded London showroom and we walked out of that and like literally right next door was the Fidon Novertsova showroom and it was not open to the public. They literally were there for like buyers and like celebrity press and I peeked my head in and I was like I am the biggest fan like I love your guys' clothes so much. And they were like, oh my god, come in. Oh, Alina, hey. Like, they had met Alina yesterday. And it was just like, it was so, it was such a wholesome moment. I got to meet Fidan and Philip and like the whole team in Paris. It was just like so wholesome and cute. And we got to like play dress up and hang out with them and take pictures. And they were so kind. They make the coolest square toe boots. They're handmade in Moldova. Like, are you fucking kidding me? But anyways, I am really obsessed with this brand they also make like a little short version with like fur wrapped around which i just need i need them and they make really cool like athletic wear and more like i don't know they just really make fucking cool stuff anyways that doesn't even scratch the surface of the brands that i really the small brands that i really fuck with oh this coffee if you guys liked this video and want a part two or part three part four like i can do this maybe once a month. Or if you guys know of any small brands that you think I would like and you wanna hear me like shout out and talk about, if you have a small brand, like let me know. I'm so open to that, I'm so open to, uh, yeah, discovering more cool small brands because I love that. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. 2024, man, it's my year of the YouTube. I, I'm believing in it, I'm manifesting it, I'm speaking it into the universe. YouTube is where I literally started. I used to make fashion videos in my backyard, so, it feels good to get back to the YouTube roots. Uh, love you guys so much. Take care. Happy holidays. Shop small. Bye!